got the Boardman in the back of the van, uh, the new M MHT 8.8 29er, really nice looking bike. Be running tubeless, so I've not actually had uh, tubeless tyres before, so I'm going to give that a go. Uh, going over to Jim's now to build it up, then go for a quick black round um, over the downs. Be nice to get out in this uh, lovely weather as well.
review on the my new Boardman MHT 8.8. I've ridden must be 100. And 124 miles now. I must say, I'm really impressed with it. And it's a XL 29er. It's the mid range uh, mountain bike hardtail that they do. They do a um, 8.6, which is the lower end, and it doesn't have the rock shocks on it. Uh, this one does, and then you got the um, MHT 8.9, which is a really cool colour, but it's over a grand. And I couldn't really afford that, so I've gone for the mid range. It's got the rock shocks, uh, 120 mil travel, um, which is uh, just what I need. It was £900 from Halford. It's running the SRAM SX uh, 1x12 system by SRAM. I had to get the chain guard. Uh, but I would uh, suggest changing the pedals over uh, because the ones that actually come with it, they're not all there. Now that's one thing I would change straight away. I've also got a dropper post and unfortunately I had the external cables and it didn't have anywhere to run the cables so I got these little clips from eBay. Excuse the wind. Got the lever. Uh, when I uh, went for this one, it said um, it had Shimano brakes, but um, as you can see, they're not Shimano. I had these on my old bike, and I had no worries with them whatsoever. So Tecro brakes. Yeah, they're good enough. They're fine. I've also gone for the uh, 2A3 front disc this, uh, rotor for a bit more stopping power. As you can see, it's Tetro. Because uh, it had a 180 disc on there before, and it's got a 160 on the back. Rock shocks, front shocks, which is uh, Juddy, Judy, something like that. Uh, but the only thing I am getting uh, problems is uh, I've got grease residue still coming from the um, front shocks. I'm just gonna keep an eye on them and uh, just hopefully they settle down. It's not losing pressure or anything. Just got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, so it's, the rock shocks are usually pretty good. I've run rock shocks for quite a while on my other bike. I mean, it's got a boost system on it. It's quite a, quite handy to lock in the van. Um, running the Vittoria Barzo. XE Trail 29 by 2.25. Come on, focus, that's it, thank you. Running tubeless. Uh, first time I've ridden tubeless. The front tyre went together really well, but I had nothing but trouble with the rear, and I was getting a bit um, disappointed, really. I'm getting frustrated. In the end, I had to remove all the tape start again and uh, I've put a new different valve on it and I've 
I retaped it, put more um, jollop in it, in the tyre, and fingers crossed it's not gone down just yet. So, just fingers crossed. And obviously I've, I've got my wind source stem cap. Always a must. So, I must admit, yes, all in all, I am really impressed with it. I've done a few rides now. I've got the Hit the Downs MTB. 2022 event coming up in July which I will be uh, doing a, a video for that's to raise money for St Barnabas and uh, Chestnut Tree House I'll try and do that every year It's definitely a, uh, a good 9 out of 10. It's a nice hardtail, quite light, easy to uh, ride. I want to hit more trails with it this year. And going from a 3x9 three by, uh, three by system to a 1x12. I thought I was going to struggle, but no, not at all. Uh, it's in a nice matte finish. It does show up the day, though. And all the welds are all smoothed, smoothed over. and sleek I must say I've, I've not really seen many reviews on these bikes on YouTube only just people just uh, scanning over them it's just a little bit of residue It. Just need to just keep an eye on it.